Hello my beautiful bitterers, welcome to my channel and today I do not have my punk with me because she's at school but I wanted to film this to get this up for Lainey so this is my next installment of Zany Lainey I am going off to a concert tonight and tomorrow I have to drive to my sister's house and I won't be back till Saturday. So I wanted to make sure to get this up for Lainey. So you're not gonna have Lissa's presence for this. There's extras in here because uh, I always make an order on top of the normal. But then she also has some new scents coming out because this is her birthday month. So there was three extra scents on top of it. I can't remember if I ordered all three. Oh boy. Okay, that one needs to go there. Oh, that one I order, I named myself. Aren't you guys so proud of me? Oh, okay, so I did get all three of the extra scents in here. So I ordered some big scents because she decided not to do these big sizes anymore. She's only going to do the small sizes because she doesn't get as many orders for the big ones. So she was having a sale, so I ordered four. When I ordered some paparazzi this is the first time I've ever ordered paparazzi now you guys all know that I make my own jewelry my earrings for one these are Montana agates and I wire wrapped them let's hold them up these ones people want to buy off my ears all the time and I say no hands off they're mine because my children bought found two stones that were similar shapes so I can make earrings so Eli found one Lissa found one I can't remember who found what but they're the same shape so I wire wrapped them let's hold it still Zelma so I wire wrapped them and made earrings out of them aren't they stinking cute I love Montana agates and then I used copper wire because they weren't drilled so I made earrings out of them so these ones will never ever 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 get sold because my kiddos found them when they were quite young I want to say that Eli was like three or four so yeah it, it was a while ago so let's open up this okay, so I have pops and each and if you collect ten pops that's five dollars in the store that you can use so this one is from last month this is the Anna Green Gables pop I'm keeping this one oh this is gonna be my bookmark <laughs> anyway collect 10 of these pops $5 credit unless you get one of the golden ones and one of the golden ones that's an automatic is $5 credit or if you find the golden one so and then this one is from this month which is Halloween like scary movie themed and this one is Scream obviously she sent me scent things so that way I can put the scents out there for people I got one of these for free because I named it and then I ordered a small size because I knew Lisa was gonna steal one the brat anyway and then there was paparazzi jewelry on top of it and this postcard says Laney's map to most people's high school and this is the cafeteria and then she has yeah it's super cute and this is a label for the so fetch so let's go to the ones I ordered so I ordered another lost and found this one was based off of ET this is orange bubblegum and lime and I never thought that bubblegum would smell good on me but this combination with the citrus and then the bubblegum it smells so good and I get so many compliments when I wear it so I ordered a full size and then I ordered this one is fallen Christmas star and this is sugar plums candy cane and spearmint what are you based off of you look like the kid from the Christmas story where he's wearing the big old puffy little thing but it has reindeer prints going right over the top of him so it makes me think of the song grandma got run over by a reindeer Ooh, that smells really good at first you could smell the sugar plum and then all of a sudden the spearmint just like wafts right in oh yeah that smells good 
that's gonna be a great room spray okay then candy cane forest which this one's off of elf i believe i want to say that's just what it reminds me of christmas tree candy cane forest yeah so he's talking about going through the candy cane forest in the movie elf so i'm assuming that this is elf so it's just christmas trees and candy cane shake 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 a -roo. I know I've smelled this one in the, the wax form. Oh, that smells so good. These are going to be wonderful as room sprays. Then we sit, rose, sh sh a rose shuck ladder, shuck ladder. It's hot cocoa and toasted marshmallow, and this is from... The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Rose, such a clatter, ladder company. <laughs> but I like that it's hot cocoa and toasted marshmallow because he likes his shaken, not stirred. <laughs> oh, yeah, that smells, that smells really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Into this month's scents which is all scary movie or Halloween movie themed. So the first one, let's go with this one. So this one's the Gatekeeper Keymaster. So this one's based off of Ghostbusters. And there's two, two of these, one's in purple for the girls Ghostbuster, and then green for the guys. So. They, they wanted to have the same scent, but the the label will be either for the girls' Ghostbuster or for the boys' Buster, Ghostbuster. It is 50-50 bar, strawberry, and ginger. I'm really excited about this. Because one of my favorite scents, which is this one right here, and look at how far I am. This is peach, ginger, and paprika. Oh. <laughs> So good. So 50-50 bar, strawberry and ginger. Yeah. It's going to smell good. First thing you can smell right off the top is the strawberry. But now it's starting to sweeten up. That smells really good. I really like this one. Ooh. I like this one. Ghostbusters. Yes, please. Smells really good. The strawberry is very prominent in this one. So this one, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so for my eyes, I am wearing the Sanderson Sisters palette on my eyes. I'm only using two colors on my eyes. I'm wearing Book, which is the matte brown shade, which did crush in mailing, but that's okay. And I'm wearing Mary, which is this one, which is on my lids. So that's what I'm wearing today. So this one, of course, is Hocus Pocus themed. <laughs> I love this movie. So this one is Murdering Beauty is what it's called. This one is Juniper Berry, Eucalyptus, and Hay. Oh, and I really love that Tommy, is it Tommy? The, the zombie, he's crawling out of... The grave right here and then we have um jinx or max max is that max or is it jinx i can't remember the kitty's name am i fired <gasps> but then of course the sanderson sisters are flying across the moon Woo! okay i got a concert tonight and i don't want to smell like 50 different things Okay, so the first thing you can smell is the juniper berry, straight up. But then the eucalyptus kind of seeps through. I don't really smell the hay, but this is very clean and, dare I say, Christmassy kind of vibe to it. Because of that juniper berry, that gives me a Christmassy vibe. So this smells really good. It's very clean. It has a little slight sweetness to it, but it's just crisp. I like it. I really do like it. It smells really good. 
So I think this is one that my son will probably wear as well. He's got his own little stash in the bathroom. So this one is Gary's Vision. The Adams Family. I guess I should have, I should have got that. But this is the second movie. Because they did a Thanksgiving play in the second movie, like Adam's Family Values. So this is Manor and Oranges. Maguey Valley, Lily, I don't know. It's some type of Lily and Dill Pickle. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they're weird, so might as well add Dill Pickle in there. Sure. Okay, Manor and Orange, Lily and Dill Pickle. Huh, okay. So you don't really smell the Dill Pickle right off off you smell a sweetness and then you could smell the lily so you can now as it's starting to dry I got that citrus element of the mandarin orange but then there's something in the background that if you didn't know it was dill pickle you would never know it was dill pickle it's just this crisp spiciness in the in the background that doesn't come through in the beginning but it's there what is I can't say what is that because I know it's still pickle but it's just reminding me of something else and I can't pinpoint what it is but this smells actually quite good um I'm surprised I like this I like it that's pretty cool so I don't know if I showed you the artwork so there he is dressed up in the house is on fire and all that stuff. Pretty cute. Okay, the last one is based off of the movie Scream. I watched, what was it? I watched Drew Barrymore and Tati. And she was commenting about how long it took just to film that little itty bitty segment in the movie Scream. Because it was so intense and stuff with Drew Barrymore's part. But she like dies in the first 10 minutes of the movie. But she said... Okay, my second set of batteries died. I knew they would. So this one's certain rules, and the scent is butter, popcorn, peppermint, and chocolate. So here they are watching a movie. They're watching Scream. And there's cardinal rules that you're not allowed to do. And it looks like he's coming through. But I think I remember Marshall saying that that's not him in the movie. That's the reflection coming to kill the kids that's cool okay let's spray this down oh okay so I was not expecting not to smell buttered popcorn <laughs> I think it was the minty aspect yeah the peppermint the peppermint is what hits you first and then the chocolate this this is gonna make me sneeze it's actually it's strong but not in a bad way but hold on <laughs> okay try this again <laughs> it it got me really quick <laughs> so I have to be extra careful with this one okay so now that it's faded a bit you could smell the peppermint and the chocolate I don't really smell the buttered popcorn yeah it's you could smell the mintiness you could smell the chocolate when you open up the bottle, you could smell kind of like the saltiness element of this, but spraying on my skin, I don't smell it. So that butter popcorn is not like a big prominent thing, but the peppermint and the chocolate is definitely more prominent, but it's not like super strong. But yeah, that's all of that. And then we have So Fetch, which is what I named. So this is based off of Mean Girls. And so she, Lainey posted on the Facebook group ideas for a name. And then the most popular ones went into a voting thing and my name got voted on. So I said, so fetch for the name because that's something that Brittany Murphy was trying to get through to everybody that so fetch was popular. So fetch is not a thing. <laughs> so anyway, this is pomegranates, grapes, and kiwi. That smells really good. I can smell the pomegranate. A little bit of the grape. Kiwi is kind of like that little 
sharp citrusy note kind of in it but it smells really good together I like that so and again this is the the same thing that was on the postcard um, the celebration set available in the group only October 14th through the 20th so make sure that you guys join the group so this one is expendable which is Star Trek theme obviously because you can tell by the the outfit but this is cherries water and a bit of luck that's actually kind of cute cherries water and a bit of luck hmm very clean smell a little slight little smidgen of sweetness in the background so I'm assuming that's the cherries but it smells very fresh like a Yankee Candle would for what water would smell like. I don't know what a bit of luck smells like, but that smells really good and I love the freshness of that. So that, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and the last one is the party scent available in the group October 21st through the 26th only. And this is uh, Them's My Jewels. It's a labyrinth scent labyrinth oh man that brings me back to my childhood labyrinth so woods acorn and peach so this is gonna scream fall to me i'm really excited about this oh i can smell that already i can smell the acorn oh that is interesting how do i okay acorns woods and peaches Definitely want to say it smells earthy, like not in a bad way. Like there's a little bit of sweetness from the peaches. I don't think you would ever guess that it was peaches that's in it, but the acorn I can smell because I remember I'm so me, which is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one of their scents. That one had acorns in it and cherry, but I can definitely smell the acorn. I don't know. If I'm like totally keen on it, I mean it smells good, but there's just something about it that's bugging the crap out of me because I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this one would be good for a room spray. I would. Yeah, when you spray it, you can really smell the acorn. Okay, I know what it is. This doesn't meld with my skin. <laughs> when I spray it in the air, it smells really good that way. On my skin, it kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it just changed. And then smelling it straight out of the bottle, totally different. So I got three different scents going, smells going on here. Definitely room spray in my book. So I would totally use this as a car freshener, room spray. I don't see me wearing this on my skin just because it changed on my skin. Something about it changed it. Oh, this is a lot. The, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 body sprays. And one's a dupe because it's a big size. So 13 body sprays. I Okay, so let's go into my paparazzi order. So Lainey, every Friday, she sells paparazzi. And like I said before, I, I make my own jewelry. And so I never buy jewelry. And I never... I, I've known a paparazzi for a very, very, very long time. Because in my crafting world, doing a lot of crafting events, there's always paparazzi around. Never purchased it. But... There was a couple things that I'm just like, I just have to have you. So one of the things I ordered was a set. And I felt that the sets were, the value was really good because you get a pair of earrings and you get a necklace. So this is just a pair of earrings with hematite looking crystals. It's not real hematite, but it just has that hematite look to it and then the necklace was super cute and 
So I liked this round chain. It's it's like a they put it together like a box chain. But then the pendant looked like this. And I thought that looked really cute and I and I was thinking when I ordered it that what I can do is take the chain off and do something else with it of my liking. So, yeah. That's what the the set looks like. It's super cute. So I ordered that. I figured, you know, I could change it up. And I think I will change it up. Maybe I'll do a craft with me and I'll take a paparazzi necklace and I'll change it up. Let's do something different. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So then I can still say, yeah, I made it using paparazzi stuff. <laughs> and then she had a dollar earring sale. So I ordered a bunch of earrings. Some of these are just so cute. But I thought between Lissa and I, we would love these. So she had little key studs. So this one is gold, little keys. These were all a dollar a piece. This one's rose gold, super cute. Then we have gunmetal and silver. So I think I'm going to pop the rose gold ones in my ears right now because they will match my earrings that I'm wearing. So there's the key. Can you see that? What do you think? Does it look good with my earrings? Yes, it does. So, okay, let's put in the other ones. Oh, that went right through too. Okay, we're golden. Um, and there we go for the other side. In. All right. So now I have my key little things that match with my rose gold coppery thing. Okay, so I showed you all the keys. Then she had little violins, so I picked these up for Lissa. I played violin, but Lissa wants to learn as well, and so I ordered the blue ones. So cute little violins. Oh, so cute. And then she had fruit. So I ordered the cute little fruit ones. So these ones are kiwi. Then we have strawberry. And we have watermelon. So ordered all those, figured they'd be great stocking stuffers, give them to my daughter. Of course, I'm keeping the rose gold key ones for my sale, just because I can. And I can give some to my god baby, some key ones to her. I think that'd be cute. I think I will do a video where I change up this paparazzi necklace. Let's do it, guys. You guys can join me along for the ride. So that was my paparazzi order. Thank you guys for joining me. Use the code ZELMA10 for 10% off your purchase. If you join the Facebook group, tell them that I sent you. And yeah, join the group. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.